NCLEX Studiers, we're about to give you everything you need to master all things rapid acting insulin. So if you want to knock the NCLEX out of the park, keep on watching. Rapid acting insulins are the fastest acting forms of insulin used to rapidly reduce blood sugar levels. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover all the important information you need to know about rapid acting insulin for test day. Let's get started. For today's scene, we're here in the drive-thru with our favorite coworker who is sent to grab everyone's lunch order from the local fast food restaurant. She has limited time on her lunch break, so fast food is definitely the way to go, especially at this place that's called Rapid. As she picks up the orders, she puts the fast food in this insulated cooler to keep the food fresh. Here at Pixarize, we use insulation, like that of this insulated cooler, to symbolize insulin because insulation and insulin sound similar, right? And the fast or rapid food here should remind you of rapid acting drugs. So this insulated cooler full of fast food is here to anchor you to rapid acting insulins, the fastest acting type of insulin. Got that? Great. Now let's move on to the different drug names of the rapid acting insulins. In her hurry to get the food, the woman drove right down the middle of the drive throughs freshly paved asphalt. This asphalt is our symbol for the drug aspart. Asphalt for aspart. Got that? Aspart is the first rapid-acting insulin drug name you need to know. In clinical practice, you will commonly hear aspart called by its brand name, Novolog. But since the generic name aspart is the name that will be tested on the NCLEX, just remember this asphalt and you'll be good to go. To keep track of everyone's specific order, this woman wrote out a list. The list also happens to be our symbol for the drug Lispro. List for Lispro? You can even think of it as Listpro, if that helps. Lispro is the second rapid-acting insulin that you need to know. Lispo's brand name is Humalog, so you might hear this name in the clinical setting as well. But for the NCLEX, just remember this list for Lispro and you'll be set. As the woman grabs the list to double-check that she didn't forget anything, the list got caught in the glove compartment and ripped. Luckily, she had some glue in the car, and she's working on trying to glue the list together. This glue is here to symbolize the drug glulazine. Glue for glulazine? Easy, right? Glulazine is the third and last rapid-acting insulin that you need to remember. Glulazine's trade name is Apidra, but remember, the name glulazine will appear on the NCLEX, so just remember the glulazine glue and you'll be sure to remember that glulazine is a rapid-acting insulin. When I said the woman was on a time crunch, I wasn't kidding. She gets a 30-minute lunch break, and her timer is going off now. She better hurry if she's going to get back in time. Use this 30-minute lunch break to help you remember that the rapid-acting insulins peak around 30 minutes after administration. Each type of insulin has a different time of onset, peak, and duration. The most important time to remember is the insulin peak time because that is when the drug's blood sugar lowering effects are most active and also happens to be when hypoglycemia is most likely to occur. The NCLEX is most likely to ask you questions about insulin peaks, so that is what is symbolized in this video. Now, the insulin peak is technically a range, because the actual peak time differs according to each patient's biology. Rapid-acting insulins technically have a peak ranging from 30 minutes to 3 hours, with an average closer to 30 minutes. In summary, this means that rapid-acting insulins will kick in fast, around 30 minutes after subcutaneous administration, which is the fastest among all the insulins. So why might this fast peak be used clinically? Let's find out. That sure is a big pile of food on the passenger seat. All this food can help you remember that rapid-acting insulins are usually given with meals. This makes sense if you think about how rapid-acting insulin peaks quickly, around 30 minutes. By giving rapid-acting insulin with meals, the insulin's peak will roughly match up with when blood sugar levels naturally spike after eating. You see, the other types of insulin don't kick in fast enough to correct for the sugar spike that comes with meals. This makes the rapid-acting insulins the most effective way of counteracting the glucose spikes that occur after meals. The exact dosing is determined on a sliding scale depending on the patient's expected carb intake and biology. Most patients will be required to estimate how many carbs they will eat, calculate the correct number of units of insulin to administer, and give the injection 15 minutes before eating. 
Before we summarize what we learned, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more great content, leave a comment below telling us what topic you want us to cover next, and visit us at pixarize.com. Now that we've covered all the important information about rapid-acting insulins, let's hurry and summarize so our friend here can get on her way. Rapid-acting insulins include the drugs Aspart, Lispro, and Glulazine. These insulins work the fastest among all insulin types, with a peak around 30 minutes after administration. Clinically, rapid-acting insulins are usually given with meals to counteract the blood sugar spike that occurs after eating. All this talk about food is making me hungry. I'm going to grab a bite to eat, and maybe you should too before you get back to studying. See you next time!